After finishing your first round of UWorld on first aid, you now enter your dedicated study period. Now this duration may vary from person to person, but nevertheless, the next two to four months will be the most important months of your preparation time. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know to study as effectively as possible in this dedicated study period. In this video, I'll be providing a lot of tips on how to tackle your dedicated study period. And stick around to the end, because I have some bonus tips and a sample schedule that you can follow to use your time effectively. If you find this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for future content on USMLE Step 1. Now before starting your dedicated, you should take an MBME. Now this MBME is just to give you a baseline score, it's not to assess yourself. Almost everyone does bad on their first MBME, so you really shouldn't feel bad about it. I remember after spending 4-5 to five months months on first date in New World, I was really excited to take my first MBME. But I got a really bad score and I felt really bad. I got a 180 and I spent some time feeling bad about it, but you soon realize that this is the same for everybody and over the next two to four months that score is going to rise exponentially. So what is an MBME? An MBME is a practice test made by the creators of the USMLE question bank. So there are only a limited number of these MBME exams, so I suggest saving the most predictive ones for later. As a starting MBME, you can use an old one. So I'm going to create another video describing the order in which you can take your MBMEs and the most effective way to take these MBMEs, but I'll provide a summary right now. So after you finish your starting MBME, you start first aid. After each round of going through first aid, I'd suggest taking another MBME to see how well you've improved. Only in your last one to two months, I'd suggest you should take an MBME every week just so you can gauge where you're weak at and you can fine tune your score until you get to where you need. Also, if you found this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe so you can get more content on the USMLE. Now let's get to UWorld. Before getting into the specifics of UWorld, I want to talk about something called question strategy. In your actual test, no matter how much you study, you're not going to know everything. You're only going to know 60 to 70 percent of the question or the answer. So it's up to you to use the question strategy to bridge that 20 to 30 percent of knowledge gap and make educated guesses to get the right answer. You might have seen your friends who might not know the exact concept, but they still take an educated guess and they get the answer right. Well, this is something that takes practice. This is where you all come to play. The more questions you do, the better you get at taking these educated guesses. But this is why your second round of UWorld is your most important round in UWorld. So I suggest that you do two blocks of UWorld every single day, no matter what. Now, even if you don't want to study in one day, I suggest you still do your UWorld blocks in that day, because even if you don't do your UWorld blocks for two days, your question strategy starts to take a hit. Now let's talk about how you should be doing your UWorld. Every day you should do two blocks on timed and random. So you should do a timed mode because you have to practice doing the questions under pressure against time and you have to do it random because in the first round of you world most people do it according to system and this is great but this gives you a small advantage on getting the answer right highly recommend the second round of UWorld should be done in random mode because sometimes while doing it according to systems, diagnosing the answers might become a little bit easier. Therefore, sometimes you need to practice not knowing which system the question belongs to because sometimes that's the entire question. Now, how long should you be doing UWorld every day? You should be spending around four to five hours on UWorld every single day. You should spend two hours on doing the UWorld blocks and three hours revising. At the start, it might be hard to go through two blocks within three hours, but over time that does get easier. So you should spend around one and a half to two hours reviewing each block. At the start it might seem difficult, but over time it does get easier. You don't need to go through each and every single question. I suggest while doing your questions, just mark the ones that you don't know the answer to and the ones you think you guessed the answer to. And just review those. Try to limit annotating your first aid as much as you can. And this is why I stress the importance of annotating everything in your first round of UWorld. Now I know that doing your second round of UWorld right after your first round of UWorld on first date might seem a little bit daunting because you might not remember much. This is why some people like to do a whole round of first date before starting UWorld. That's exactly what I did. I found this to be very helpful and I was able to tackle my second round of UWorld much more confidently. Now let's talk about first aid. Try to finish your second round of first aid within 30 days. 
break this down, you can spend around 2 days per system and 10 systems that should be around 20 days and 10 systems on general. After your second round of first aid, your third and fourth rounds of first aid won't take more than 20 days. Now if it does take more than 20 days, don't worry, quality runs of first aid are definitely much more important than quantity. So while going through first aid again, you're not going to remember everything. And this is why it's important to annotate everything in first aid the first round. But if you still can't remember, just go back to your reference resources and try to solidify those topics. So during your second, third, and fourth round of first aid, you're going to understand which topics are your weaker ones. Now you can refer back to your reference resources, and if you still feel weak at them, you can go to additional resources, and I have a list of resources that you can go through in the description below. Now, there's no set number of times you need to go through first aid, but just make sure that you need to feel comfortable with that book. That book is your gold standard resource for your USMLE stuff. So now I'm going to provide a sample study schedule that you can follow to manage your time more effectively. Now you don't exactly have to follow this, but it's better that you plan your schedule somewhat similar to get the maximum benefits. Now it's good to tackle your U-World early in the morning, so I'd wake up around 7 o'clock every morning. 8 to 10, I'd do 2 blocks of U-World back to back without taking any breaks. After that, I'd take a 30 minute break and spend time till around 12 o'clock reviewing through my first block. Then probably I'd eat lunch from 12 to 1, and then 1 to 2.30, you can go through your second block. 2.30 to 3.30, you can take a break, and then 3.30 to 9 30 you can go through first aid. So from 3.30 to 9.30 I'd go through first aid every day and this is the time where you'd revise through first aid and solidify those concepts. 9.30 to 10 I'd start to wind down, maybe watch a few sketchy videos and take a break from 10 to 12 and sleep at 12 every single day. So I believe it's really important to take small breaks throughout the day because when you do study you want to be studying effectively. I have friends who try to sit in front of the book 24-7 but after a point of time it's just that it's just sitting in front of a book and you won't be able to retain it much. Also, I do believe it's important to take a day break every single week just to unwind and take a step back. Now, if you were like me and a little bit more paranoid, taking that break might be hard, but at least take half a day break. A Saturday night, maybe you can go out and meet some friends. It's really important to start your U world early in the day, preferably within the first hour of waking up. It's really important to start doing this before you start your studying for the day, because the second you start studying, it's going to affect your diagnosing ability. Everything you see will be centered around what you read that one day. Instead, you want to take a step back and think fresh and think about all the systems that can be involved. Now, this is your dedicated study period. I know that this is a marathon, not a sprint, but you really don't want to take a break for too many days. If you take a break for more than two days, you'll start losing more information than what you can retain, and also your question strategy will take a hit. But taking a break is inevitable and we're all human. So when you do take your break, try your best to do your UL questions every single day just because you want your question strategy to be intact. If you found this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And while you're still here, check out some other videos on my channel. My videos are aimed to help IMGs with the entire USMLE process and help them match into residency. Good luck!